Hey, hi, this is Charlie Lorenz, host for the Abalone Hunter, and we're here at the Noyo Harbor. Basically, there's a lot of diving available here. There's also a lot of boat traffic out there, so you got to be very careful where you're diving. Behind me and over here to my right is a great place to dive, but the dangers are is if you're going to have to go run off the jetty and swim across that channel where there's a lot of boat traffic usually to get to where all the abalone are over there. But I wouldn't recommend it unless you are very strong with your fin kicks, okay? But again, it's a short, easy way to get to where the abalone are here at the Noyo Harbor. Again, you could just walk out to the jetty out here where you see all the rocks and there'll be a lot of folks doing some fishing off the, off the rocks right here. And then you just right where that wall is, just swim right straight across. I mean, it only takes about like barely 20, 30 seconds if you're really fast. But I warn you, just like being in traffic <laughs> downtown, look both ways, watch for boat traffic, and make a wise decision as to when to jump in and get out also, okay? So be very careful again with the traffic. Okay, but I'm gonna be diving here behind me to my left, the north side of the cove. Uh, it's much rockier over there um, and also I feel a little bit safer from the boat traffic. Most of the boat traffic is concentrating their, their traffic right down the center of the bay where because of all the rocks, especially if you look over here, there's going to be that huge rock that sticks out there. The boats basically stay away from there. Now I'm going to swim past that rock out there and dive beyond it in about 20 to 30 feet of water where I have found many, many abalone of pretty decent size. I'll tell you, for those people that are trophy ab hunters, tens have been found in this area. But I'll keep a secret as to where they've been. All right, let's go down to the beach and go have some fun. My goal was to go up, down, and around. Now we're getting closer to my dive destination. I'm gonna walk all the way over here to those rocks and then start swimming out. In here, contrary to belief where abalone exists with kelp and rock, right here with all this kelp, very rocky, but look down at my feet, and you can get kelp attached to all this kind of loose rock and stuff, but it's not real good habitat for abalone. They don't really care for it too much. They're looking for that big boulder kind of with cracks and crevices that they can hang on to or hide underneath. So mm -hmm. I would avoid diving in close here if you're going to be looking for abalone in the Noya Harbor. If anything, right where this rock is and some of those further rocks out there, it's more like the uh, habitat that they're looking for. Bigger, um, more rock that uh, they can tuck and hide in. When I get past that rock, with our tide today, uh, we have a plus two point some odd. I'll probably still be diving only about 10 feet or so. It's not until I get a lot further where the depth starts getting down to 20 and then 30. And uh, that's where I've been finding the bigger abs. 